Okay, I haven't done this in a while, so I, I better I better check to make sure I have everything. So I'm in the shed. All right, check in the shed. I got my plaid on. Uh, I got a pipe going. Got a hat, right, hat, good. And and the camera's rolling. All right, we are ready to go. Hello, welcome to Drew the Shed. I, of course, am Drew. You haven't seen me here in a while, and I apologize, but it's been bitterly cold. And so, with that, without further ado, let's just jump right into things. Starting off with the obligatory housekeeping. So, today I am smoking my Crow Pipes Stubby Ants Rusticated Pipe, and in it I have some GLP's Gaslight. Now this is my first time smoking Gaslight, and it's proving to be very nice. Very nice blend indeed. So, what am I going to be talking about today? Seeing as we are back in the shed and I'm wearing plaid and I'm smoking a pipe, so we better do things properly. You know, over this past, what, month and a half that I haven't done one of these, I've been noticing that it's, it's rather easy to broadcast or rebroadcast things that might not be true to our nature or where we want to be. And what I'm talking about is there are an awful lot of negative things in our life. And it's very easy to take this, uh, these negative happen happenings, these negative circumstances, and let all the world know about them, and how we think it's such a piece of crap, and that it's not right, and you know, blah 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 blah, and I go on and on and on, and and we start finger pointing, and it feeds itself, and it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. We start letting everything around us that we see as wrong or any negative little thing start to consume us. And obviously it is very easy to do that. Um, and, and I can say that at certain points in my life that I am not much better. Stringing some water here. That I let all the negative things around me sometimes or have let them in the past take control. And I think what we a lot of times fail to realize is that in doing that, it's consuming all of our energy. It's just using all of our energy to be negative and nasty and gross and vehoverative and, and put any negative, you know, ill-tempered word in there you'd like. But it takes away all the energy from everything else that we could be doing. Us broadcasting something that's not not fit for us. <sighs> saying it's so-and-so's fault, saying it's this action's fault, or what have you. <sighs> and it's easy to do. 
I think by and large because it doesn't take much action from us. It doesn't take a challenge. It doesn't take much doing. I could say your mom likes to suck on pennies. It's not hard to say that. Now, let me pose this to you. What if, when we see negative circumstances, instead of rebroadcasting it, instead of pointing fingers, instead of continuing a spawn of ill will, why don't we ask a question? Ask this question. How can I help? I am here. I am present. How can I help? Now think about this. What if we just had a hundred people? A hundred people asking. Hey, I'm here. How can I help? What can I do? How can I make a difference? Well, our mothers probably wouldn't have to suck pennies anymore, that's for sure. I'm going to leave that with you. Just sit and think about it a little bit. How can I help? Till I see you again, be kind of good to each other.